to it, huh? So Soul Flayer is actually a card we had played a little bit of in Pioneer way back when. Kind of a sweet design. So does Delve, which is a keyword that says you could exile cards from your graveyard rather than pay colorless mana cost towards its converted mana cost. So this can be a just black, black, 4-4. Four, four. And then it has the text here. Whenever this delves a keyword off of a creature, it gains that keyword. So you delve a Questing Beast, you get Vigilance, Death Touch, and Haste. You delve a Murderous Rider, you get Lifelink. You delve a Nullhide, Ferox, you get Hexproof. You delve Zatalpa, Primal Dawn, you get Flying, Double Strike, Vigilance, Trample, and In, Indestructible. You got Sylvan Carried here for Hexproof as well. It notably does not get Defender, which is nice. So that the negative keyword on Sylvan Carried is not something that you have to worry about with with Soul Flayer. Um, we utilize cards like uh, Grizzly Salvage, Gather the Pack, and Commune with the Gods to not only help us find our copies of Soul Flayer consistently, but also fill the graveyard up with things to delve away to enable it as uh, making our keyword suit monster. Should you be unfortunate and draw Zatalpa Primal Dawn, you also have Lotleth Troll here, which can uh, discard cards from your hand to get bigger. This also lets us put cards into the graveyard in order to delve with Soul Flare and get the keywords that we're, that we're looking for. Um, one of the things that's kind of sweet about this deck is even when you're not Soul Flaring, you know, we've got Lotleth Troll, Questing Beast, Nullhide Ferox, uh, Rankle, Murderous Rider. These are things that let us um, play this kind of uh, mediocre mid-range plan, which is something something that I love. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and dive on into some games with this one and see how it goes today. Ooh, we're up to 261 people in the Pioneer League chat. So fancy. Lily Bovine, thanks for keeping on with the Tier 1 sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Good morning. There's something, I guess it shouldn't really surprise me, but Moto, for whatever reason, when I when it defaults to opening a league window, it like doesn't actually maximize. I have to minimize and then maximize it again the, the first time. I think it's probably because it doesn't like the taskbar on, on the top of my monitor. It's actually, it's actually surprising how for an operating system that's named Windows, how bad this operating system is at managing Windows on your screen. There's actually a lot of a lot of applications that don't handle the taskbar being on top well. Easy mulligan here with no second land. Well, you know, sometimes you play magic, other times magic plays you. Yep, we're going to keep these. We're going to go ahead and bottom Zatulpa and this. It'll keep two lands and lots of ways to uh, to do these. Gather the pack here, and it'll be also a Spellmaster. There's two or more instant sorcery in your graveyard when you play this. You get to draw two things with it, so we'll want to make sure we play this one last. Something squared. Thank you for the brand new tier one sub. I really appreciate the support. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, yeah. Someone as someone who like spent the better part of a decade using Linux based operating systems as his daily driver, um the various the various Linux window managers are truly lovely. Alright, we drew Soul Flayer here, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab Lot Left Troll, but I'm definitely leaving these in the bin for for keywords. Oh no! Oh no! Well, that's rude. Um, 
So Clothes is gonna get to start taking my stuff. Think I'm supposed to dig deeper a little bit here? Well, they see they see the soul flare now, so they know what's coming. So I assume I'm about to lose questing beast here. Maybe I should have just played played it out with questing beast text. Feels feels bad, man. I mean, like doubles the top on one of these. gonna go ahead and uh bin bin all of those and you can take one and the next turn we're gonna play we're gonna play a squiggly monster pretty pretty peak non-rotating format is signing up with my sweet graveyard synergy deck and then running into main deck graveyard hate game match one All right, so carry added Aetherborn. Those are actually the only ones in here that are useful, huh? Carry added and Aetherborn. That's sad. This isn't even good, right? Like this is why this is why decks like this is just it's a tough it's a tough sell. Like while you do some neat things on occasion, like having getting your deck shut off by single cards is just like a pretty huge feel bad. Yeah, they took they took Rinkle. I probably should have just played it off of the questing beast and the hexproof earlier. I don't know. Like the lack the lack of flying here is a big deal. Hopefully we draw a land next. Oh, they cast time walk. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Hopefully we draw an untapped land on our next turn, and then we can gather into Soul Flare in the same in the same uh the same time. Would be nice. They gained a mana, so I assume there's another time walk in our future here. I'm gonna go up to seven and do that. Genesis Ultimatum, sure. <laughs> they hit five lands for Trekker. Big old, big old ramp spell. Well, he gained some life. We're in we're in this game until they play Ugin next turn. Hey, hey, Beansy, thank you for the 19 months. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. Maybe they're not an Ugin deck? They have a bunch of a bunch of cheap ramp stuff. Another ultimatum here. Looks like it. All right. Well, they put three lands into play. If they drew another time walk, they can cast it with Fable Passages.
It's kind of funny how many of the decks in this format are just people playing things that were banned in standard in the last year. Funny, sad. It's sad how much of the format is just people playing things that were banned in standard last year. Can they escape to the wilds again here? They can, right? Yeah, this is four, five, six. They can't quite gen ultimate him again. Yeah, yeah, there's some copies of Nath. So they get to do this, and then they can Growth Spiral. So let's gain four life, make four mana, deal four damage. Make Clothis a creature. I, yeah, we're, we're super dead. I, pro I probably should have conceded to the Clothis on turn three, if we're being honest. That was probably the point where we could no longer win. Uh, Gifted Aetherborn doesn't seem very good. The lifelink's not super relevant. Um, no, I probably need Murderous Rider to kill the Omnaths, huh? We, what do we want to get rid of? That's from the Nullhide Ferox. I've got six things still to give Hexproof. Sure. Well, I guess our mana is super awkward. So we're on Dark Boar Pathway and Triple Woodland Cemetery. That's fine. I can go tap land into this into Salvage. Hey, J Chick. Thank you for the 52 months of Prime. A long time. Hope you're doing all right still. Ooh, carry out is nice. Yeah, get that mana going. If we hit the untapped land and get to Ferox them on a... Uh... On three, it's probably great. This can theoretically hit land, right? You could take a creature or land. Yeah, so let's do this now, because we could untap land. Then we'll land a war waste here, and then we can salvage into maybe a soul flare next turn. Well, shoot. Add 10 extra looks at our four of and missed. All right, backup plan. Engage. I don't know. It's tough. Like, the Clothis is not only a source of graveyard hate, but it's, like, also a... It's also a way for them to gain life. Which is rough. Born and James. I'm at I'm Nath into Fabled Passage. Chat. Chat, I'm having flashbacks. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Escape the wild. Oh no. Not escape the wilds. Oh, oh no. Can you like Everything my opponent just did was standard legal at one point, chat. How? Who thought? Who thought this stuff was okay? Who? Who approved this? Can I get? Can I get names? Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know if I can handle playing more Pioneer. The fl the flashbacks that playing Pioneer causes. I don't. I don't know if I'm equipped. I'm equipped to handle them emotionally speaking. Oh god, and we put lands in our bin, so now they get to, like, gen ultimate him here. Hey, we played against- we played against Just Guy Luca Fire as the last league we played. Yeah, they had the they had the decency to ban this deck out of out of historic at least. At least at least they threw us that bone. We are so we are so bad at finding our soul flayer chat. There are no there are no souls to be flayed. None. I have no souls. Maybe maybe their hand is also all lands and we'll be okay. Maybe. Hey, Pinky, thanks for the sub gift. Good morning. Black Bloom Rogue. That's cute. You don't, we don't, our deck doesn't really have one mana place too, so you could probably get away with playing tap lands. That could be, that could be okay. You can see some of, some of that, some number of that being fine. Uh, the deck list will be in the YouTube video description tonight when I upload it. Cardboard, Cardboard Live doesn't let me post deck lists directly, I don't think, so. It's just been going on there after the fact. Ooh, ooh, that's, yep. Our our opponent's board state here is like a conservative that found out Joe Biden didn't steal the election. They are very triggered. All right, we're all we're all done here. We can we can move along. Well, so far our deck does not seem sufficiently linear or interactive. Active enough. <clears throat> take take two. Not not a sufficient power level to beat an old standard deck. Apparently, there's a Time Spiral remaster set that's coming to Boomer Magic. 
It's so it's so hard for me to care about things that don't that don't impact arena. It's just like do they do the things that don't impact arena even really exist? I mean, to be to be fair, I know that that quote is accurate. Eldraine card is their new normal for strength is concerned, but like Obviously, they missed on a number of cards in Eldraine, but like to their to their credit, like look look at Zendikar and Kaldheim, and I think if Zendikar and Kaldheim are, I think if Zendikar and Kaldheim are the new normal for power level, like we're gonna be in a pretty good spot. Yeah, time time spiral remastered is not coming to arena. I think I think if like if Strixhaven and the D, the D and D set are like both close to Kaldheim power level, the format's going to be super reasonable. There's a good chance my opponent just can't take Soul Flare Delving Zatalpa off the table. Yeah, I, I agree. Kaldheim, Kaldheim was great. I like I like a lot of Zendikar's designs too, if I'm being honest. The modal the modal double face land spells are are quite quite spectacular. Yeah, I think I think a big part of what happened with um what's it called too? that the Eldraine is they they underestimated like how how powerful the flexibility was going to be on a lot of the cards that they printed which is like not completely un not understandable Oh yeah, Omnath was technically Zendikar, sure. I I didn't um I stopped playing Magic for the most part during that, so it's like mostly blocked out of my mind. All right, well, I just clicked through combat because Moto lagged when I clicked on my creature. So, you know, how's your morning going? Good, good. Same shit, different day. That's fine. There's a good chance my opponent's mono black deck just, like, can't take my card off the table, like I said. So it probably doesn't matter. I can just take both of these. Right, sick. Got him. Pushed him off a cliff. <sighs> He's, he's dead, Jim. You've murdered him. Oh no, not a fen lurker. Get rid of the Ferox here. Get my wrinkle on. Each player discards a card. Opponent concedes because they cannot beat my monster. Good, good, good quality close games of Magic the Gathering so far. Definitely, definitely not giant swings where one player had no chance. Um, I think I'm supposed to just bring in some trophies in the dark here. In case they have graveyard hate, like there's a good chance they have they had Nikthos Shrine to Dick, so I feel like Leyline of the Void is pretty likely to rear its head here in a moment. Need one trim. Trim a murderous rider. Can trim a little bit of inter lifelink doesn't sound like he's gonna be super useful here, and I'm bringing another interaction. Yeah, this looks fine. Dub Dub Soul Flare again sounds lovely. Huh. What if, what if I just like 
Drop some Nullhide Paroxes. I guess this puts five cards in the- four cards in the bin? I could have a Nut Soul Flare this turn. Alright, let's go for the Nut Soul Flare and then we'll start dropping. Dropping Paroxes. Drop them like they're hot. Drop them like they're hot. I'm actually just- I've got two of these, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and cast this here. It obviously doesn't have a lot of keywords, but... I think with the, the mana cost of my current hand, I just want to use my mana this turn. Arn the Great Creator. Okay, so this is getting like a piece of graveyard hit. Murder, murder their current here real quick. Real quick, like, un moment. Terminator 2, thanks for the follow. Good morning. It takes three to crew. Am I just dropping some trolls here? I think so. So far, so far I feel myself wanting a fourth Zatulpa in this deck. Just every, every turn. It's just like, it's the only card I want to draw. It's like, where's my, where's my Zatulpa at? What's your five, what's your five drop opponent? What's your, what's your poison? Opponent. It's the casual tap my lands and disconnect. Good times, good times. Everybody bring it out this morning, by the way. Um, so I'm going to be taking Saturday and Sunday off this weekend talking about my schedule. There aren't SCG tournaments like I thought there were going to be. And if I'm going to be doing two tournament weekends plus a Glandy Open in the next month, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I take all of this weekend off. So we're going to be live all day today, and then I'll be back on Monday. Thanks for the 30, 43 months, Judgeinator. I appreciate that. Welcome back, and thank you for the Tier 3. Are they going to make Sky Sovereign a thing? Well, I can just murder us right at this next turn, right? Hey, Ranger, thank you for the 17 months. Welcome back. Yeah, we just let that die, and then I can murder us right at this. It's like not a big deal. I would love to draw an untapped land here, so that way I can... I'd love to draw an untapped land here, so... I think I'm actually going to go ahead and discard a Nullhide Ferox here. So this way, if I draw a land, I can uh, play Soul Flare as a scary monster. Bricked. Um, think we just Grizzly Salvage to start here. So we find Zatulpa. They probably can't win anymore.
important. Must be uh, working their desk job. Are we having connectivity issues? Hey, look, we found Zatelpa. All right, I think I'm in for the land. No, I'm probably in for the second Soul Flare, right? Yeah, it's gonna be the second Soul Flare. All right, so... I would like Zatulpa, Nullhide, Ferox, Gather the Pack. Oh no, I missed Haste! Shit! I don't know why I thought that card had Haste. Oh, we dealt Questing Beast last time. Shoot. I had a wrinkle in here I could have grabbed. Hmm, that could cost us. It's a pretty, pretty big mistake. I don't know why I thought Zatulpa had haste. Got all the other, all the other words on it. They have something like languish here. They could, they could get out of this though. They don't have languish, which should probably be okay. Even even something like a uh, sacrifice effect. Um, we have solely carry added. Does it does have all the other stuff? That's true. Yeah, we're we're just cleverly saving wrinkle for the second soul flares, right? And them, them getting uh, another card out of their bin here. Where they get Bolas's Citadel. That's kind of scary. Yikes. Okay. Rankle, Lotleth Troll, and then I'll pay some mana. And then this gets to hit Karn, and this gets to hit their face. This is Flying Haste Trample. So that'll kill Karn, and this will hit their face for, uh, for 8 here down to 6, which should make the Citadel be a lot less scary. Nikki B, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel, Bolas. All right, they've got six life to work with. Put their Bolas to sit it on next turn. Do your broth first. <sighs> They've got they've got a lot of actual mana here though. They've got three, five, seven off the Nykthos Shrine to Nyx here. That is true. They can't they can't play cards off the top with uh with mana. Alright, the last card got a citadel, so I feel like I'd be surprised. I guess they have more mana this time through. So Karn could get did they get something like Platinum Angel here we're just dead? Hmm. 
They could they could have something super cheeky like Platinum Angel on their board. Uh, we are in our second match. Don't ask don't ask me which game because I don't remember. <laughs> there's no there's no clear indicator on the overlay. Platinum Angel isn't in Pioneer. Oh, you're super right. That was a that was a what's it called card, wasn't it? Fingers fingers crossed. Um, we get an arena state of the game update today that tells us when the historic anthology is coming. Speaking, speaking of historic anthologies, today is the last day we could have a state of the game, right? For February, if we don't get a state of the game today, Monday is March. Woof. That puts them one above the amount of damage I can deal this turn. Wait. Ah. Uh, opponent. Wait, am I dead? One, two, three, four, five. Am I dead? Did we die? I think we died. We died. All right, got it. So the turn, I forgot to give this haste loss. This is the game. Good chat. Good chat. Didn't I didn't delve wrinkle that turn and I wasn't able to attack and then the extra turn let them kill us. I think we mulligan this, just doesn't really do anything impressive. This is fine. It doesn't soul flare, but it's got like ram spell into questing beast. I think it's just trophy here. Freaking on um, the land feels bad, man. Hey, Zaparis, thanks for the 31 months. Good morning and welcome back. That's kind of vomit inducing. Well, we've been thoroughly picked apart. The good, the good news is we can like rip a card that like looks at the top five cards of our deck and then find a soul flare, bin as a talpa and be right back in the game. No, I think on average Charizard, like, it's not like, like, I think like what, like that last game isn't a good example of like someone got punished for making a mistake. Like me not knowing the keyword on a tiny interface where the words are all really small is different than like me being presented with a variety. Like, like that last game, me losing because of a decision I made, it wasn't like there was an interesting complex series of decisions that resulted in me choosing the wrong line from a series of interesting percentage plays, right? It was just like me being stupid. So like, I don't, I actually don't think games like that last game are a good example of like, good ways for people to lose games because they made a mistake like basic basic reading comprehension or lack of lack of a small amount of familiarity isn't a particularly interesting way to like make like i'd rather i I'd, I'd rather when people talk about winning or losing games like that i'd much rather it be based around like um 
you know, having lots of choices and then making the wrong choice, right? Like that that other game, it was just like the, the, there was one correct decision if I can read, if I'm more familiar with my cards and not reading to you and like complaining that my opponent's like taking forever while also take while also playing through. So there wasn't really an interesting choice to make there. Alright. Yeah, it's not even just about slowing down and reading, it's like about the fact that I'm doing six things, six things at once. Yeah, so like like my my metric for was it an interesting game is not did I did I take the time to read the things correctly? It's if if there's multiple choices and if I'm able to pick the right choice from the multiple choices, not there's one very clear choice if you're not doing three things at once and you take that choice. So far, our deck seems kind of underpowered and in inconsistent for this format. We have like, exactly, it, our deck's definitely misspelled by at least one card. It feels it feels like our deck has one powerful thing that it's doing, and we didn't include four copies of it. Like, Soul Flayer's Atalpa is like, definitely our meal ticket in a lot of places, and the fact that there's not four copies of the best card we could be looking for a lot of the time to pair with Soul Flayer is a huge mistake. And for those of you that are not familiar with Magic the Gathering Online, we are locked into R75 for the entirety of this league, so that's not a change I could make, like if we're playing on the on the ladder on Arena. Their neat hidden flame. I hope I hope we get cons cons commands printed into Hope we get the cons commands printed into uh historic sometime soon. Yeah, not, not only are we locked into the 75 that we submitted, but we paid $10 for the privilege to be locked into the 75 that we submitted. Now, I think Kermanticor is just a much worse, much worse Zatulpa. I don't I don't think we want five copies of that effect. Do you always have to pay in order to play on Magic Online? In order to play matches against meaningful meaningful decks. You can you could technically play for free on Magic Online, but like the types of the types of decks that people are playing for free on average tend to be very bad. Tend to be lots of lots of budget decks. And like, well, obviously not everybody's playing tiered decks in the leagues. Usually they're they're more the it's actually it's funny. We were, we were talking about this yesterday in the subs discord. Moto kind of has the inverse effect from Magic Arena because in Magic Arena, when you play in the thousand gold constructed leagues that you have to technically pay a little bit to play in, the average deck quality in those is actually much worse in Magic Arena because the pay to play leagues on there tend to have players who are free free to play um tend to have players that are free to play trying to uh trying to build up their accounts yeah i probably should have ditched this for hexproof it's indestructible 
Yeah, but like that's not a format people really want to play. Afterthought. So you're you're right. I mean, if you want to play, if you want to play for free, just play Cockatrice, right? Like if the price is a, a price is a thing. Penny Penny Dreadful doesn't have cues. Pretty like grasp of darkness here, or like eat to extinction and be sad. The we're probably gonna get counterspelled is what's actually gonna happen. And then we're gonna have a Sylvan carry ended in two lands left over and be real sad. Uh, uncounterable is not a keyword you can give Soul Flare. We have a couple of Savage Summonings in the board, though. We've got two Savage Summonings and four, four Thought Seizes for the Counterspell decks. Tank, 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 Sinister Sabotage. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The... The last couple of moto leagues might be might be our last few. The the rate the rate of play is just it's so glacial chat. Like decks decks and format quality aside, like the format quality has been reasonable and the decks have been interesting, but just like the rate of play on this platform it's just it's so slow on top of everything else. Like if we if we could just have like all all of these like i don't even need the graphics for magic arena just like the auto tapper and the rope is like all all i want i just want i want the rate of play to be the rate of play that we get on arena i just cycle the sensor here so we're going to play the untapped land to play around another one of those just the very the very act of casting your spells takes so long. Yeah, Cockatrice is actually super fast to play on because there's no um there's no rules automation making things cumbersome. And then this one will die to a removal spell, I assume. Cockatrice gets annoying when people argue about the rules. Well, you just don't play with people that you don't know. I would never I would never recommend using Cockatrice to play with people you don't know. That sounds that sounds miserable. I would I would recommend loading up Cockatrice with someone else that you know that knows how magic works and then playing over voice chat together. I want these six cards. What are we trimming? It's definitely these two to start. It's probably just the murderous riders, right? Like the lifelink's not useful and I don't really want to be interacting with their stuff here with the beatdown. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Extinction event. Let's get let's get rid of that one. In the, in the event that we fumble our way into a soul flare, extinction event can exile it, so. They topped a card, so they're hitting they're hitting a land drop next turn.
and take the redundant threats here. Island is very pretty. Would not be surprised to see them cycle the sensor. Trying to hit their third land here, which they did. All right, I'll hide Ferox, I choose you. Go, go, Gadget, no hide. Do, 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 do. It, it will not dream. When Clothis is not animated, it's not a creature. Only, it's only a creature on the stack. Opponent fetched a swamp while I have. <laughs> I would just like to remind everybody in chat that there are people that exist on the internet that have argued with me at length that Magic the Gathering Online is the most competitive Magic the Gathering platform because people have to pay money to play matches on it. And the, by, by virtue of having to pay money to play your matches, it makes the platform more competitive. The actual, the actual answer is, is that all of all of the this platform's more or less competitive stuff is just shit posting. It's people it's people making stuff up to make themselves feel better about the platform that they play on. All of all of these platforms have people making mistakes. They have people not reading cards, they have people misclicking, they have people playing while distracted. This, this idea that there's, like, conditions that you can set up where people automatically play perfect magic is very silly. Even You even look at, like, the highest level events, or there's, like, pro tours where people, like, lose matches in the top eight because they miss triggers, or they miss they missed a little little key part of the board. Magic's, magic's a messy game with lots of things going on to keep track of. Speaking, speaking as someone who farmed a lot of cash poker during college, the the idea the idea that people putting money on the line automatically makes them better at something is very much not the case. Cash cash poker would be a lot less profitable if people who had more money automatically automatically knew what they were doing more. Well, I mean, it's not that anybody's saying they're able to play perfect magic. It's people that make the argument that whatever platform they enjoy playing magic on the most is the most competitive. They're like, oh, oh, the mythic lad is the most competitive. Oh, magic online leagues are guaranteed to be the best experience because people are paying. Like those, those types of arguments are the most silly. Let's open, let's open on Questers in here, huh? I'm sure our first our first couple of plays are just gonna die in a blaze anyway, so let's just start working through it. It doesn't it doesn't even mean they try harder fire. Even even that isn't true. Yeah, I would I would actually posit, Jake Man, that um platinum and diamond on the arena ladder are probably the the places where you get the most people putting forth the most effort. And obviously that's not to say everybody playing in those areas is putting forth a ton of effort and really cares, but my my experience has definitely been that like yeah, people people want to get to Mythic to say they got to Mythic, and they want to get to Mythic to play at like the top of the ladder. But like past past that.
Thirty percent mythic on the ladder AMA. <laughs> Ask me anything. I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, like there's a bunch of people like, you know, the the carrot at the end of the stick, the carrot at the end of the whatever isn't really appealing to a lot of people. Like they don't care about getting top 1200. I was a proud member of the rank floor. Oh, you know what? When I was delving, I should have been thinking about gather the pact, right? I need to think about that more. I delved a sorcery, right? Yeah, I totally, okay, it, it didn't matter. On any, either of these cards, the carry added. You sold off your MTGA account. That's against the terms of service. I didn't hear that. I didn't. I did not hear that you sold off your Magic Arena account. Earmuffs. 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 Chat. Watsy's listening. They're tracking. They're tracking you down, Irate. They're coming for you. Isn't buying from my sponsor, MTGO Traders, also against the terms of service? Oh, no. Oh, no. All the terms of service are being voided, shit. It is, it is against the Magic the Gathering online rules to buy and sell cards for cash. You could sell your MTGA account, sure. Watsy's gonna knock on your door and steal your Nintendo Switch. That's fine, I've got two of those, as long as they don't take my PlayStation. You can't you can't get a new PlayStation. Does wizards read their own terms of service meticulously? I'm sure, I'm sure if Wizards of the Coast was ever, if the government ever took interest in Magic the Gathering online, they would enforce their terms of service. Magic, Magic the Gathering online and its economy is allowed to operate through obscurity. It's not big enough for anybody to care about the fact that it's online gambling. I have, I have high confidence that if, like, anybody in any government anywhere cared, Magic Online would quickly, quickly enforce its terms of service. Gonna hold this land in hand, trick them into thought seizing this other Ferox. Nah, the the reserved list is what it is, is because wizards determine it's more profitable for them to keep it. Wizards, wizards doesn't want to like the reserved list exists for the same reason Scalding Tarn got to be a hundred dollar card. The reserve the reserve list is an easy cop out for them to not reprint stuff like that. They'd, they'd prefer, prefer you to play formats that make you a repeat customer. I 
All right, we're gonna let's move off of talk about the economy stuff surrounding Magic the Gathering. It is it is what it is and it isn't changing. So let's move on. All right, I think we're gonna lose to blue black control, which is usually the sign that I'm gonna delete the deck. The part where they cast Dig Through Time and make it 8-8, eight, eight, and then my Null Hide Feroxes die. Oh, they're gonna Gear Hulk in 8-8, eight, eight. sure. Alright, I'll try, I'll try one more, but this deck's been real bad. Just not really interactive, not powerful and linear, not consistent. We'll see. We'll see if we get to do a keyword soup monster one more time, but the lack the lack of four keyword soup dinos is real rough. That's not your fault, Logan. They can't they can't all be winners. We're going to start the morning with a deck vote on Magic Arena. So, folks that'll here will get to pick pick what we what we play to start on the uh, on the video game platform. We could have we could have won one of the three matches we lost if I would have would have clicked better. Little man, thank you for the 15 months. Welcome back. I appreciate the prime. Yeah, I have uh, the Rune Storm deck we're going to play in standard later is also a donation deck, and they the person that donated for it requests that I do it later in the stream. So we're going to do deck voting first today. No, the vote the vote will go up after we finish Moto. Yeah, Flash Mutate Tech's great. I'm playing two standard tournaments, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. And Flash Flash is definitely definitely the deck I'm playing. We get the one soul ring with the Lord of the Rings IP. Ask the real questions. It's a good draw. We didn't bin anything too great here, but we got the uh, the old Lotleth troll. So we'll get to drop Lotleth here, discard a bunch of creatures, and then we get to bin these three and then soul flare the following turn. At least, at least this main deck, Graveyard Hate, won't bite us this game because of Lotla Troll.
There is uh Oh, they binned, they exiled our copy of Murderous Rider. That's sad. Lifelink. Lifelink would have been useful here. Talia's lieutenant. The Loxodon? Yeah, it is. Land. 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 Hmm. Okay. Do I salvage hoping to hit untapped land and a lifelinker? I think the answer is yes, because if I if I hit lifelinker, I don't think they can win. Wow, holy crap. We just cannot cannot catch a break to save our lives today. I think I'm pretty sure it's right to salvage there. That's just, just brutal. Like, not only did we miss on the lifelink, but we also missed on the land. Just like the most savage. Nice work. Yeah, I think the, the Terra Combo deck is super reasonable. I liked that one a lot yesterday. That's one I could definitely see working on a bit more in Historic. I've, I've been enjoying playing Historic for the most part, but I've, I've yet to find a deck in that format that I really love. Which obviously just means we have to keep looking. Well, I missed that they had Luris last game. Yeah, I loaded. I think I'm going to put that one on the deck voting list today, James. Yeah, the, the Bant Angels deck is sweet. It just like... I don't know, the, the types of decks that tend to be good in formats like Historic aren't decks that really speak to me as a player. Like, the on, on average, the types of decks that are good in those formats are just, like, pretty linear, like, and, like, neat do-the-thing decks are, like, okay, but they're just, like, they don't, they just don't hit the same for me. They're, like, fun to pop off with, but they're not, like, those types of decks aren't the reason I play Magic. They don't, they don't speak to my soul, chat. Oh, oh, that's a good point. They must not have had Luris last game, right? Because they definitely locked on us. Yeah, I mean, that's not even just about creators, Dan. It's just like good, good, solid life advice in general, right? It's it's especially true about hobbies though. Like there's so there's so many awful if 2020 taught us anything, there's so many awful things in the world that are genuinely worth getting upset about and fighting to improve that like including my hobby that I'm supposed to do for fun in that group of things is just like really a train. Hello Jacob, good morning. Hello. I'm doing well. How was your first class this morning? You were, were you a good listener? Okay. I can't go away yet, okay? Oh, you're on a break? Yeah. Quick break? A 10-minute break, okay? 10-minute break, okay. That's cool. Thanks for coming to visit me. K. Smith, thanks for the 29 months. And Bing Bang Bong, thank you for the 10 months. You may came ba bong. Their username is Bing Bang Bong. I mean, you may, you may Bing Bang Dragon Bomb. A Dragon Bomb? <laughs> what? Bomb. All right, they drew Luris here. Which is actually pretty scary. Um, yeah, we re we really need to find one of our we really need to find one of our ways to uh, flip cards over to get a soul flare going here. 
It feels it feels like our fair our <laughs> It feels like our fair game plan is not gonna be good enough to be able to beat this archetype. Maybe because I was playing Murder Strider, I was supposed to attack with Gifted Etherborn in there. Attack. attack! You're gonna attack the moon? With a dragon. With a dragon? I am a big fan of cosmic space dragons. <laughs> oh, Jacob. And the land. All right. Wheel. 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 Wheel, wheel. <laughs> that is a good articulation about how playing playing Magic Online goes. Oh, you're a submarine, Jacob. Okay, I love you. Go back upstairs on your break. All right, I'm gonna be done. Let's play some Magic Arena. Yeah, this deck, this deck was disappointing. Um, it didn't, it didn't, it, this deck, like, the, the big standout to me from playing in this set was that the, the kind of mediocre fair backup plan of like questing beasts and nullhide ferox and stuff is just not good enough for pioneer just like what what the power level of it is doing is just not strong enough and um you know having having your one strong thing you're doing be disrupted by graveyard hate really sucks so i was just not not a fan of that access either so over overall this felt like a pretty big miss to me Let's let's shift gears and uh, 